pastoral instruction, Have mercy on me, Lord, have mercy. My dear people of God in the Archdiocese of Manila, During this time, we had limited access to the celebrations of the sacraments. Now that there is a gradual opening up in all activities of our life, so also in the church, we can slowly come back. One of the sacraments that we had limited access to in the pandemic is the Sacrament of Reconciliation, or commonly known as the Sacrament of Confession. We missed the Kumpisala ng Bayan of Lent, so also the opportunity to confess during the Easter season because of the continuing threat of the coronavirus There are still people who are hesitant to come to church, much more to come to confession. But we should not allow fear to dictate on our actions. We always have to take necessary precautions, but there are important matters of our life that we have to attend to, even with the presence of COVID-19, and confession is one of them. In extraordinary circumstances, we can receive the grace of forgiveness, even of grave sins, by making sincere acts of sorrow or perfect contrition. Part of the condition for a sincere act of sorrow is the resolve to come to the sacramental confession as soon as possible and to confess each and every one of our grave sins that are not yet confessed. So, I invite all the faithful to come to avail of the great mercy of God that is poured on us by the sacrament of reconciliation. The parishes are instructed to set aside time for confession and to make provisions for places for confessions that are hygienically safe for both the priests and the penitent. Each one may also make an appointment in the parish office for confession and the priests will readily accommodate you. Confession cannot be done online. It has to be done personally. So I invite all to take time to receive this sacrament in the coming weeks. We all ask God to pour on us His graces. And God is generous in helping us. But let us take away the blocks that can hinder the flow of God's love to us. This block is sin. And sin can be taken away by turning away from it through sincere repentance. The ordinary way of exercising repentance is a sacrament of confession. Let us go to confession that the grace of God's love and its assistance may rush into our lives and our families. May Mary, the refuge of sinners, help us to be prepared to receive this sacrament well. Yours truly in Christ, Broderick Babilio, Apostolic Administrator of Manila, September 8, 2020.